Good evening. I wanted to share a testimony, um, what I call a uh, hell testimony. I'm doing this for God. Um, I really don't like to do videos at all. So this is difficult for me because I, I really don't I really don't like doing them. But um I'm doing this for God. And the reason why why I feel that I have been called upon to do this test testimony is because there may be people going through what I went through. My testimony is basically about when you allow other people or things to take precedence in your life and you prioritize it over God. So when you put a person first or sometimes just relationships with people can be unhealthy for you when it comes to establishing a strong relationship with the Messiah, with God, with Yahweh, with Jesus Christ, which is Yahshua, Shemashia. And, you know, God is a jealous God in the, in the sense that he needs our time. He needs our love. He needs our commitment. And when he has the power to make significant changes in your life and you don't honor that and you honor man then that is a form of adultery so um, anyway this is my hell testimony I, I've been dealing with this with this young lady I was dealing with this young lady and I would I would always put her first I would try to do everything for her I was always just trying to pamper her treat her like a queen however she she was battling Drinking, drinking really, really heavily, going out all the time with her friends. And she moved in with me, but she would never come home. And, you know, I had, the, excuse me, never come home. And she had a tendency to pass out places. So I was always, I was always deeply concerned about that. And, um. So, so anyway, it was Christmas Eve, and I wanted to give her the Christmas that she never had. So I went and got several gifts. I put them up under the tree. The whole plan was for us to wake up in the morning on Christmas and I watch her unwrap her gifts and we have breakfast in bed and have some champagne and orange juice which is known as mimosas. This was before I got to the point where I understand why God doesn't want you to shack up with another. Getting back to the story. So she wound up not not showing up at all. I was very, very sad, very depressed. So I went out. I went to a strip club. I go to a strip I go to the strip club. I'm drinking. I get really, really drunk. I meet these girls. 
and they they had plans on going to another bar about 45 minutes outside of the strip club and they invite me along so I'm riding with them they have what I thought was weed I have no idea to this day I mean but they had it in joints so I'm smoking and then all of a sudden they like give me one to myself you know And all I know is that when we arrive to the bar, I get out and then everything goes blank. Um, then I wake up laying on the side of the highway. So I wake up laying on the side of, you know, of the highway. I don't, I don't have my coat on. It's like blistering cold. So as I get up, I walk, and it leads me right back to the bar that I was just getting ready to go into. So I go inside. As I go inside, people are walking around looking robotic and just looking weird. And every time I would try to say something to someone, they wouldn't talk to me or 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 walk up walk up to me and then and then turn around and then walk walk a whole nother way so no one was was really responsive it was like everyone was in a trance so i leave the bar and i'm trying to um find somewhere i'm just trying to get out of there and as I leave, um, I go into this block of homes. But as I walk on this block, every time I leave the block, it leads me back on the same block. Next thing you know, the sky turns blue, there's lightning. And... Now I'm like, what's going on? I'm, I'm scared. And then I just hear this laughing. And I just see a vision of, of a tombstone that says, rest in peace with my name on it. And I hear this evil laughing. And then all of a sudden I'm like, am I dead? And next thing I... I hear God's voice saying, you want to follow someone that is leading you nowhere, I'm going to put you nowhere. And then, all I remember is, every single time, well, now I'm just, I'm just bombarded with all these memories of the times that I was trying to find out where she was. I was chasing after her. And people were like, and people who I knew that were in the church were like, come to church. Or, or like just times when I could have been giving my time to Christ, but I was so concerned with her. And now I'm feeling very remorseful. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, right? And I'm just like, I'm just like, I need another chance. I need another chance. Just, you know, and... Next thing I know, I wake I I um I wake back up, I guess. I don't I don't know what you call it. But I was just hoping that it was all just a bad dream, all just a bad dream. I wake up. Uh, but when I wake up, I wake up, I'm laying back on the side of the highway with my coat off. So I get up again and I walk back towards into the town and I come across that same neighborhood so I'm like not again 
So as I'm walking down this block, there's a man standing on, on the steps. And I basically ask him, can he call the police? So he calls the police. And the police were actually nice enough because I'm a veteran. And it was a veteran-friendly town. They were actually nice enough to drive me home. So, so I get home and it was just something to really, really think about. And and it's been a long time. I'm coming for me to even even tell the story. Like I said, like this is my first video. You know, I mean, as far as, yeah, this is my first video. I did this one where I did a little rap, but, you know, that was, that was like when YouTube first came out. But other than that, I don't really do stuff like this, so that's why I'm talking slow. You, <clears throat> you're probably like, hurry up. But um, anyway, I just, uh, I just, um, well, God, God put it, put this on my heart because... I guess this should help some people out, but never let another person lead you to hell. It's almost like when, you, when your mother used to say, uh, if your friends jump off a bridge, will you do it too? So, um, if you want to, if you want to pray with me, we could, uh, say a prayer real quick. Father God, Please help and cover your blood around the people that are going through friends or family or situations that have control over them that they feel like they can't break away from or get out from and they know that they need to be doing your will and serving you. Could you please come into their life and Help them find direction. Give them guidance. And let them put their burdens on you, Father God. In the name, Yahshua Shemashir, Yahweh, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, pray amen. I hope, um, I hope this is, Resonated with someone. We have a great evening.